two colorful and affordable devices, fun and cheap, the Nokia Lumia 620 and the Nokia Lumia 520. This is Victor for Phone Arena with a comparison of some of the nicest affordable Windows Phone 8 handsets. Let's take a look how the two fare against each other and which one should you get. In terms of design, both devices are extremely compact and convenient for single-handed use. But let's start with the Nokia Lumia 620. Uh, it comes with the lively color signature for Nokia. Here we have the yellow version, but it comes with a replaceable back cover, so you can customize its style to your liking. And uh, in terms of design, it's a chubby little thing. It's uh, 11 millimeters thick. It's pretty compact, very convenient for single-handed use, as we said, because it's narrower than even the Lumia 520. The 520, on the other hand, comes with, uh, in the red version, and also you also have different color options as well for it. It's got a 4-inch display, it's 10 millimeters thick, that makes it uh, slightly thinner than the uh, Lumia 620. Uh, and it's got a slightly inferior display, something that we'll speak about uh, in more detail just in a second. In terms of this, uh, buttons, you have the standard for Nokia layout with all buttons on the right hand side. You have the volume rocker on top, the lock key and the camera button. And on the back, both devices have uh, their main cameras with the Lumia 620 also having an LED flash. The Lumia 620 also has the advantage of bringing a front facing camera, perfect asset for video conferencing. The Lumia 520 does not have that. In terms of display quality, you can definitely see a huge difference, a world of a difference. The Lumia 620 on the left is much, much brighter. It's more than twice as bright with uh, actual brightness reaching 590 nits for the technically inclined, and uh, the Lumia 520 has a uh, brightness of uh, less than 300 nits. So this means that in reality, in outdoor use, you, you'd be able to use the Lumia 620 without a problem. The same cannot be said about the 520, which is uh, very hard to read in well-lit environments or under the direct sun. Both devices have the same uh, sharpness. They have a 480 by 800 pixel screen and viewing angles on both are very good. But the problem with the 520 is, of course, its brightness. Its the screen, the screen is very dim and colors on it just don't look as good as the vibrant and rich colors on the 620. In terms of interface, the Lumia 520 and the Lumia 620 don't differ. That's basically because both of them run on Windows Phone 8, a platform that allows little differentiation. And that's a good thing. It's unified. It offers uh, a brilliant smooth experience throughout and has the same apps. One of the biggest advantages is of course the office application that you get for free here. It's bundled right in and you can easily uh, have your documents right here on your device. Also you have the Nokia suite of applications. You have Nokia Here Maps and Nokia Music, both brilliant apps that you also get for free and you can download from the Windows Phone Marketplace. When it comes to browsing and connectivity, both devices feature only the Internet Explorer browser. And that might sound like a downside, but in reality, the Internet Explorer on Windows Phone is an extremely solid browser, so we're very happy with the experience. Scrolling around and zooming in and out of pages happens without a hitch. It's uh, instantaneous and works pretty nicely, and that's no surprise. Actually, the performance of both devices is powered by a dual-core 1 GHz Snapdragon S4 Plus chip. Both of them feature 512 megabytes of memory, and uh, that means that you can play most games. Recently, we got to hear that games like Tempo Run are also optimized for devices featuring 512 megabytes of RAM, and that, of course, is good news. In terms of media consumption, you have beautiful photos, music, and video applications. Let's just take a quick look at the Photos app here on the Lumia 520 here on the, on the right-hand side, and here we have the same app on the Lumia 620 on the left. And you see this full screen view of all your photos that just um, come as a slideshow. It's a gorgeous experience. And one particular app that we love in both these devices is Nokia Music. And we only have it installed here on the Lumia 620, so we'll just show it here. Uh, but you can also get it for free on the Windows Phone Marketplace on the 520. It takes a bit to load, but it offers plenty of functionality. Aside the standard uh, music playback, you also get free music streaming via Mix Radio. 
So for instance, you can uh, select your favorite artists and build a free streaming station out of them with similar music. And that's one great feature. Both devices have dedicated camera buttons and pressing them takes you into the phone app. And uh, it's an identical experience for with a, a little, just a little difference. And that comes because of the fact that Lumia 620 has an LED flash and it has additional menus. It also has a front-facing camera, which the Lumia 520 lacks. Uh, so that's what, where the difference in option, options comes from. Uh, in terms of picture quality, which is the most important thing, the two devices are pretty comparable and we're happy to report that uh, we got some decent images out of both. They support 720p HD video recording at 30 frames per second, which was decent. And in terms of images, we noticed that the Lumia 620 produces slightly uh, images with slightly more vivid colors, while the colors on the 520 are sometimes more washed out. But uh, generally, we're happy to report that both devices have nice cameras, especially given their affordable price. Now, cool quality is of paramount importance for such basic phones as the 620 here and the 520. And uh, good news for the 520, which is an extremely affordable device, much more affordable than the 620, is that it brings a decent cool quality. Uh, our colors reported hearing our voices loud and clear, and the earpiece is also very uh, nicely sounding. And on behalf of the 620, we can say that we had real trouble with our colors reported uh, our voice sound muffled and they we often had to repeat what we were saying so that's something that you have to keep in mind in terms of battery life both have comparable batteries the slightly larger 4-inch 520 has a 1400 milliamp hour battery and uh, this one here is, has a slightly lower battery but in reality both devices easily last a single day of solid average use and uh, if you use them scarcely then you'd get two days but uh, rarely more uh, if you use the devices heavily, of course, uh, you'd get less of a battery life. So finally, which one should you get? The Lumia 620 or the Lumia 520? Oh, the question is pretty obvious. The Lumia 620 has the much better display. It's vivid, it's vibrant. Uh, it, uh, the Windows Phone uh, operating system works without a hitch on it. So we definitely recommend this device over the 520. But it's also the one that's much costlier. It costs nearly 50% more. And the Lumia 520, despite its dim display, which disappointed us, fared pretty well in terms of camera performance, in terms of the actual user interface, and basically in all other depart departments except the screen. So it's definitely a great option for those buyers on a budget looking for an affordable, even cheaper Windows Phone device. For a deeper comparison between the two, check out phonearena.com. Thank you for watching.